uh, distinct subsequence, right? So, guys, in this question, what we have is we have two strings, string S and string P, right? And what we need to check is, oh, sorry, what we need to count is, we need to count total number of distinct subsequence of string S, which are equal to string P, right? Again, listen, again, listen, what I'm saying is, we need to find total number of distinct subsequence of string s which are equal to t right okay so uh, for this test case for this test case mm -mm -mm, what all uh, distinct subsequence will we have uh, see if we consider this 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 and this c r a b b i t this is equal to this string t so this is one uh, uh, subsequence right now if we consider this 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 and we ignore this b then this and this then this is one more uh, subsequence r a b b i t which is same as this string okay now if we consider this r this b and ignore this b and consider this b this b this i and this t so this is one or one more uh, distinct subsequence which is equal to string p right so i think this is it this is it this three subsequence we have from string s which is equal to string p so this is the question this is what we need to find we need to find total number of distinct subsequence okay now now the thing is how we will find this so this question is actually uh, one of my favorite question uh, because in this question we use uh, permutation uh, with dynamic programming right so uh, we we must have a little bit knowledge of permutation and dynamic programming to solve this question right otherwise this is a, a simple question right okay so now the thing is how we will how we will solve this question okay so uh, let's say let's say uh, yeah let's say uh, let's let's just consider two cases right let's just consider two cases so uh, this is our case one right so in case one in case one uh, let's say we have a string as like this and the character present at last is a so let's say this is our string s and our string t is star 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 and b so uh, uh, the star you can treat as any character we don't uh, we don't uh, need to focus on this character but we just need to focus on the last character right so now now guys focus here see if last characters of both the string last character of both the string is different right if last character of both the things is different then what will happen is the number of total distinct subsequence of this string will be same as this whole string right don't confuse don't confuse just just listen because uh, if you understand these cases then you the, uh, the, the, the the solution or the algorithm for solving this problem is nothing for you right so if you can see if you understand these cases then uh, this solution is nothing for you right but just just stay focused now again listen we have two strings like this uh, and just cons uh, which has like uh, the string s has length 5 and string t has length 4 and uh, uh, we are right now just interested in the last character uh, of both the strings right uh, we 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 don't care about uh, the the characters which are not the last right okay so if if the character present in both the strings the last character present in the both both the strings are different like in this case this is a and this is b so this is different so don't you guys think that the number of total distinct subsequence by this complete string will be equal to the total number of distinct subsequence by this 
for our string t. Why I am saying this? Why I am saying this? See, see let us just, let's just consider this example. Let us just consider this example. Our string s is r a b b b i t and our uh, string t is r a b b i, right? So, the last character in string s is p and the last character in string t is i, right? So, what all uh, distinct subsequence we have, right? For creating uh, t from a distinct subsequence of uh, string s are this. We consider r, this a, this b, again this b, then this i, right? Uh, one more thing can we do is we consider this r, this a, this b and this b and this i, right? One more thing can we do is we consider this r again, this a again, ignore this b, this b and this b and this i, right? So, there are three total obeys, right? But if you note, uh, did you notice that there were no role of this p here. There were no role of this p here while we are counting the total number of subsequence, right? So, that is that is something that you should note here is once we, once the, the character present at the last, uh, the last character present, the last character of string s and string t are different, then the total number of subsequence, total number of subsequence can be defined, uh, can also be defined by this smaller problem, right? Can also be defined by this smaller string. So, if we have this string solution, then we just need to, what we need to do is, we need to just say, if we have this solution, then the solution for this also be the same, because the character are different. So, this is what you should need to uh, keep in your mind. This is what you should need to keep in your mind. Now, let me erase this. So, whenever, whenever the last character, last character of both the string are different, the last character of both the string are different, then this, this condition is, see, uh, if uh, the character, uh, the last character is at ith location and, uh, sorry, jth location and the last character at t is ith uh, location and they are different as I have written here is, then the solution for the bigger problem is nothing but the equal to uh, nothing but equal to the solution for the smaller problem so this is what you need to do i will show you why i i am writing this i have showed you the the reason behind the uh, this uh, case now we will come to case number 2 okay. see see this is our case number 2 so what is our case number 2 is the last characters of both the string, string s and string t is same. So, in this case, in this case, we have a choice, right? We have a choice. Either we can include this a, either we can include this or we not include this. So, this is the per uh, permutation. So, we need to add all the uh, both of the permutations, right? So, we will write plus sign here. Either we can do this or this. So, this is uh, our, our, our operation, right? So, if we include this A, right? If we include this A to find the total number of distinct subsequence, so our problem, our problem uh, will be, uh, will be look like this, star, 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 star and A and if we do not include, include this A, then our problem will be divided like this, star, 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 okay. Now, see why I am writing here this. Actually, this is by far the trickiest, the trickiest part of this video. So, uh, just uh, focus here. Okay, so uh, let me let me give the example for this. Let's say our S is this, and our T is this. See, last character, last character of both the strings are same, right? So in this case, in this case, 
we can break down our condition uh, strings like this so we have two choices either we take uh, either we include this uh, i or not so if we include this our smaller problem will look like this if we don't then this will look like this so this is nothing but the permutations of both the cases right so if we have solution for this and this then we have solution for this as well right so this is it guys right? this is it this is case 2 uh, for this so we have only two cases either both the character either uh, uh, both last characters of both the strings are same or uh, they don't same, right? They are not same. So uh, we have two cases because of this, right? So this is it. So now let me show the the the, the DP of this. Okay. So DP is here. So see, if the characters are not same, then uh, we will write uh, i plus one and j plus one is equals to i plus one j. And if they are same, then the, this is sum of uh, both the two cases right as I have showed you some of both the cases right so this is what written here right so now now let me fill try to fill this DP okay so see uh, uh, the character present at okay so what one cell means here is see we will write one here now let me tell you why I am writing one here See, if there is zero character, that means there is no character present in string P and there are, see, if S is empty and T is empty, right? So, if S is empty and T is empty, so how, how many different subsequence do we have uh, to make uh, this P? We don't have any such subsequence, we just consider this because this both the strings are equal so that's why i am writing one here now why i am writing one here is if i have one character first character in our string s so uh, if my string s is this and my string p is again empty so how many uh, distance subsequence do we have uh, i might choose i might choose only the empty string and my p is uh, actually empty and this is one one possible way right that's why I am writing one here so if my if my string s is has two characters uh, like uh, here right so if it has two characters r a and my string p is empty so what I will do I will uh, consider my empty string and this is only one way so that's why uh, I am writing one for all the first row right okay now see here here what i'll write i'll write zero now why zero why zero see i'm writing here zero because there are no character present and string uh, s and there is one character that is r present in string p that means the situation is looking like this string p s is uh, uh, empty string and string p is r so if there is no character present in string s and there is one character present in string p so there is no such possible subsequence of string s we have which can be treated as string p that's why there is no possible way that's why we are writing zero here right now for this cell we have s we have one character in s and one character in r so we have one character r in s one character r in p so there is one way by which we can uh, make this thing just consider this character right so that's why i am writing one here so you can write by looking like this as well so if both the characters are same both the characters are same uh, this is equal to sum of this and this so this is equal to sum of this plus this right so one plus zero is what one plus zero is uh, one so that's why uh, i'm writing one here now, uh, if if S has R A and R and T has only R, for this cell I am talking about, if S has R and A, so if my string S is like this, string S is like this, R and A, and string P is only R. So how many ways do we have? We have only one way, right? We will uh, 
uh, use this this character and this is the only way this is the only subsequence we have so uh, by looking like this we uh, looking at this we can write but uh, from this logic we can also write if the last characters are not same see if last character of this and last character of this are not same then what we have in this i plus j location we have i plus 1 uh, j right so if the characters are not same then we will copy this cell it's just left adjacent cell right okay so we will write one here right so that's why if you if you fill your dp if you fill your dp like this so finally your dp will look something like this right your dp will look something like this and guys this will give you the final answer this cell will tell you if your string s has uh, seven characters starting seven characters that is all the characters for this case r a b b v i t and if your string t has six characters all starting six characters then your if your string t is like this then how many string subsequence do you have you have three so this is your answer right this is your answer now uh, let me quickly show the code of this problem so code is here right code is here so uh, this is your string s this is your string t you will create a dp array of uh, t plus 1 t length plus 1 and s length plus 1 right and you will fill first row uh, of this dp array with uh, ones right now uh, you will do just nothing you will uh, check this condition if if character present at i and j that means uh, i at j uh, of uh, string s and string t are same then your dp will update like this else if they are not same then it should update like this so this is how you will construct your dp and at finally you will return the bottom right cell value which will tell you what is the uh, distinct subsequence of complete s string in complete complete s string which is equals to uh, uh, string t right so this is your final answer and this is how you can write the code right so hope you guys understood this problem thank you so much for